This is WXVT Delta News at 10. Welcome back to your Delta News at 10. Tonight we have a special sit down with Emergency Management Director David Burford to get the latest details as the river rises. David, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Sasha. So first, is there anything important that citizens need to know right now? Yes, uh, next week uh, we're going to start doing some preparedness uh, measures. People are going to see some things they've probably never seen before around here. We're going to be sandbagging some critical facilities, uh, building levees around some things. Uh, and, and that is just preparedness for the worst case scenario. Uh, we have to keep operating no matter what happens, so we have to take all the, all the precautionary measures we can to make sure we can do that. And we asked a lot of the citizens and the viewers to email us any questions that they had, and they emailed quite a few questions. Um, some of the most common ones were, does it look like the water will rise past the predicted 64.5 feet? Well, I'm, I'm not an expert on that, but the river is one of the things we watch all the time, like we do the weather. And uh, I just looked earlier, and it looks like Memphis is cresting on the 10th, so that means the fall is, is getting closer. So I, there's no indications from anybody we've talked to, any of our sources, that, that the crest is going to go up uh, above 64.5. And is there anything that citizens should be doing now, just to prepare, just in case something happens? Yeah, uh, people need to be doing what we ask them to do all the time, really, and that's, uh, that's to have a disaster plan and a disaster supply kit. Uh, we stand the chance of, of being impacted by severe weather uh, probably about six months out of the year. That's more of a concern for us, uh, really, than this event right now. Hopefully, this is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Um, another question a lot of viewers had was, will the levees be able to hold for the estimated eight to ten days? Well, that's a question nobody can answer, Sasha, because we're, we're in a time now where we've never had this much water on the levee, so nobody knows that. From indications from back in 2008, we got up to 57.4 feet. The levee did, stayed there. It did its job. Uh, there were no significant issues. The sand balls, that, that's a natural occurrence. When the water comes up on the levee, uh, levee board and core mitigate those and uh, get the water, the water pressure equaled out on both sides of the levee. And... Uh, like I say, there, there's, the water's higher now than it's ever been, so we really don't know. But looking back uh, on history, back in 08, the levee did what it was supposed to do. It held the flood water back. Okay, and hypothetically speaking, a lot of people had this question. How far east would water go if there was a breach in the levee? Well, with that, we have to look back at 1927. Uh, the water went, went all the way to the hills, basically, but the water was not deep. The water was not, it's not a fast rushing uh, tight water. It's not a big wave that's going to come. Uh, the water just kind of kind of creeps in when, when, when they have a breach in the levee. But again, we're not expecting that to happen. And will there be any seepage? Even if there's no breach, will there be seepage through the levee? Oh yes, that's already occurring, but it's, it's not to a degree that, that's going to cause any flooding. Uh, it's just small areas. They, they sandbag it and it holds the water. Um, and like I say, it's, it's a natural occurrence. Uh, we had a lot back in 08, and they took care of them then, and they're doing the same thing right now. And if an evacuation does happen, how will citizens know about that? How will, they, how will the message get out to them that they need to evacuate, and what should they do? We're, we're going to push out uh, a good bit of information next week on a mass evacuation, but right now what we do know is uh, we, we will use the media, of course. We will use the uh, NOAA uh, weather radio, uh, and we'll also use the, the warning sirens here uh, in the city of Greenville, the other cities, and in the county. Uh, basically, there's two tones. The tone everybody's used to hearing, they've heard a lot lately, is, is the steady, steady tone as the siren rotates. Uh, there is another tone in there, and it, it is a tone that, that goes up and down as the siren rotates. So we, we will use that as well. But again, we're going to have a lot more information uh, on if you were to hear that, you know, exactly what you need to do. But for right now, people just, uh, people need to be prepared. Uh, for any type of event, uh, have a plan, uh, have your disaster supply kit, have your uh, important papers, uh, you know, pictures, some sentimental things that you want, uh, you know, just pack them and have them ready to go. That's just, uh, that's part of the world we live in is being prepared uh, for any type of disaster. All right, well, I want to thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.